Garnell Moore Garnell Moore went missing in August of 2002. Garnell's parents were not involved in his life and he was living with his aunt Belinda Cash when he went missing. He had moved in with Belinda several months earlier after being passed around his paternal relatives. Another aunt, Trina, last saw him in the beginning of August. Later in the month, she tried to see him again but Belinda kept putting her off and said they were moving out of town. He has never been seen again but he was not reported missing until June of 2005 when relatives tracked Belinda down and realized she didn't even have him. When questioned by the police, Belinda stated she left him at social services because she no longer wanted to take care of him but gave a made up address for the social services building she left him at. She maintains her story. To this day, Garnell has never been seen or heard of again. Loria Bible and Ashley Freeman Loria Bible and Ashley Freeman both went missing on December the 30th of 1999. After hanging out with friends, Loria spent the night with Ashley to celebrate her birthday. At 6am, a motorist reported a fire at the home. The only body found was that of Ashley's mom. It was believed that Ashley's father, Danny, had killed her and kidnapped the girls. However, the next morning, Loria's parents were searching the rubble and found Danny's body. Coroners found that both parents had been shot and the fire was intentionally set. So what happened to Loria and Ashley? There are plenty of theories including that the parents were killed and the girls kidnapped because of Danny's alleged drug dealing. Another theory is that the girls did it and ran away but neither fit the profile. Finally, some people think law enforcement was involved because Ashley's brother was killed in a police standoff six months earlier. The only thing everyone knows for sure is that neither girl has ever been seen again. Brianna Maitland Rihanna left work just after midnight, apparently on her way home, on March the 19th, 2004. The next day, her car was found partially inside an abandoned barn. Two of her paychecks, contact lenses, medicine and other things were in the car and some things were found on the ground around it. The car had some damage from backing up into the building. Brianna was staying with friends and family so no one realized she was missing for four days and the police didn't contact her mom, the car's registered owner, about the car. She had mentioned to friends that she might go on a short trip but police believed there was an act of foul play related to drug use. However, her parents say she was not seriously involved with drugs and this was not why she disappeared. Zepp Quinn Zepp Quinn disappeared on January the 2nd of 2000. After leaving work, Zeb met a friend named Robert Owens to go and look at a new car he wanted to buy. He briefly left to answer a page he received, but when he returned, he accidentally rear-ended Owens' truck. After apologizing, he told Owens he could no longer look at the car that night and drove off again. Owens was treated for injuries from what he said was an unrelated road accident in the early hours of January the 3rd. On January the 4th, Owens called Zeb's job and said his friend was sick and wouldn't be turning up for work. He gave a statement to police but later refused to cooperate any further. Now here comes a weird bit. Two weeks later, Zeb's car was found in the parking lot of a downtown restaurant. Inside there was a hotel key, a jacket that wasn't Zeb's and a puppy that also wasn't his. On the rear window, a pair of lips and two exclamation marks had been drawn in lipstick. So where is Zeb? Why was there a puppy in the car? The police lean towards foul play, but to this day, no one knows for certain. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Until tomorrow, goodbye.